Hey everybody, Underscory here with Random Respawn, and in this video I'm going to show you how to align items using water streams in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. I'll show you how to perfectly align items for easier item transportation, item storage, and item filtering. The most common practical application for item alignment is in your item transportation and storage systems. As you can see here, we have four chests trying to filter out specific types of flowers and it is underneath an already existing item transportation system using water and ice. So as you can see, we're trying to align our items so that they are on top of the ice as well as the hoppers so that they can continue on down your item transportation system and also be filtered out if it's the correct item. As you can see, as things come down, the right types of items get put into your storage system. So for really big complex storage systems that require you to move a lot of items at very high speeds, as well as being able to be filtered out of that stream, this is the perfect practical application of item alignment. Before we get into the tutorial, I want to go over some of the finer details about this method. This works on the Bedrock Edition of Minecraft. That's the edition for consoles, for Windows 10, and for mobile. The item alignment is usually done via water streams. Uh, you could do it a number of other ways, but for this video, we're going to stick to water manipulation of items. And the types of alignments we'll cover are um, as far to the left of a block as possible, as far to the right of a block as possible, dead center of a block, and spanning two blocks. Now the spanning two blocks is the most important we're gonna go over because when an item passes over two blocks simultaneously, it will be impacted by both of those blocks, which allows us to do the practical application we just went over. Also, please check out the description below for a world download of this video, as well as a lot of other supplemental materials such as a full text guide. Item entities have the following general properties. Position, Rotation, and Velocity. An item's position indicates where the item is located relative to the center of the block space it is occupying. In this example, these two snowballs are positioned to the far left and the far right. This is the property we are trying to adjust via alignment. The velocity of an item deals with the rate of change of position within time, or in more plain English, the speed of something in a given direction. Now, to align items, we will either adjust their velocity, which will indirectly adjust their position, or we will adjust their position directly through collision. The first way we're going to align items is using collision. As you can see here, we have two water streams that go around the corner, and the item entities that pass through these water streams hit those corners, lose their side-to-side -side momentum, and then are perfectly aligned to the edge at which that corner happened. So this water stream here going around a corner aligns them all the way to the right, and this one does all the way to the left. You can see that we can invert those water streams and align the items to the opposite side than previous. So that is all the way to the left, that is all the way to the right. That is our basic item alignment using collision. By putting item entities in a water stream going around a corner, they lose their side to side momentum and are perfectly aligned all the way to the edge and continue moving forward. Water streams also have a horizontal current. You can see here that we have multiple water sources feeding into the same water stream. This gives a horizontal current or horizontal flow in these two blocks. Utilizing that horizontal current, we can adjust item alignment without having to use collision. So we can do the left and right alignment that we just did, but using the current of the water to do the aligning for us. 
This allows us to not have to go around a corner, but utilize multiple water sources to make sure that items are perfectly aligned to the left or to the right of a block. There are a number of blocks in Minecraft that are shorter than the full width a block could be. Now, you can see a chest right here. Um, the black outline of the, the chest is wider than the actual chest itself. Um, you can see the, the latch of the chest right here and then the blue ice underneath it. And the same goes for the edge over here. So a chest is a good example of a block that isn't a complete block's width. Now we can use that to our advantage here in item alignment. We can use the collision principle we just learned about to hit that pixel uh, short width and perfectly align an item across two blocks. You can see that this item is on that perfect line in between these two iron blocks. So again, we're gonna use item collision by putting um, an item in a water stream, having it go around a corner, but the difference here is that corner where the item loses its side to side momentum, it's going to perfectly align the item one pixel over into the adjacent block wherever that chest is. So this is how you align items across or spanning two blocks. The cool thing about items being aligned across multiple blocks is that the blocks below it both impact the item entity. So for this example, we have ice and we have hoppers. The item will be aligned above both of those blocks. So we have a hopper that is not full and a hopper that is full. And if we align those items perfectly across both of those blocks, you can see the items get sucked into the not full hopper and pass directly over the full hopper. This is the cool practical application or really the only reason that you would want an item to be spanning across multiple blocks so that you can move it down water streams or across long distances at the speed of ice or normal blocks, but also have it sucked in or be um, impacted by the hoppers below them. There are a number of other blocks that are thinner than the full width that a block could take up, such as trap chests, ender chests, cakes, or anvils. And you can see all of these do align items across multiple blocks. That being said, I would not recommend all of these for your um, item filtering purposes or your item alignment purposes. Some of them have glitchier hitboxes than others, um, but the ones that you'll see typically are the ender chests or cakes. Those are probably the most reliable um, and then followed by chests. Chests um, are pretty cheap and the probably most common, but they do have a, a glitchy hitbox sometimes that could screw up your item alignment. So my recommendation is you use ender chests or cakes to perfectly align items across or spanning multiple blocks. Last but not least is aligning items in the dead center of a block. This is not easily accomplished. As you can see here, I have a number of water sources, different block types underneath the water sources, um, just a whole bunch of mess here. So I am not the perfect guide to figure out the correct water current and speed an item needs to be in order to have a dead center alignment. Um, check out Nathan Ryan's video linked in the description below. They talk about breaking blocks, uh, velocities of water streams and things like that to get the dead center. Uh, this atrocity that you see before you is my attempt to do that um, in the current version that I'm playing in, um, but they can um, really guide you on what the different block types underneath slow or speed up, um, the, the um, intensity of the horizontal water flows and things like that. But if you really need to do it, you can copy this here. Um, I would just really, really not recommend doing this. But Proof of concept, you can align items in the dead center of a block utilizing breaking blocks, different speeds, and um, different strength horizontal water currents. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Otherwise, I will see you next time.